Welcome to the Dartmouth Plays of the Week, presented by Milton Cat, your area cat dealer. The Plays of the Week showcase the best big green plays each week as seen on ESPN Plus and other media outlets. Now settle in and enjoy the ride, for these are the Dartmouth Plays of the Week. Before the holiday break, senior Lily Lockhart of the women's track and field took first place and broke the program record for the weight throw event for a second week in a row, throwing for a distance of 19.15 meters. Freshman Ian Pierce scored the first goal of his collegiate career against Merrimack to tie the game 1-1 midway through the first period. He later went on to score his second goal of the game in the 2-2 draw against the Warriors. Sophomore forward Abby Grexton scored her first collegiate goal against Post Friday night. She received the puck from junior forward Curry Putra in front of the net and buried it in the back of the net to give the Big Green a 4-0 lead in the second period. In the game against Merrimack, sophomore goaltender Clay Stevens made several saves in the final moments of the second period. This kept the game tied at 1-1 against the Warriors. Before the holiday break, the women's basketball team had a dominant win at Texas State. This three by Mia Curtis in the third quarter helped Dartmouth further the lead it held since the very beginning of the game. The Big Green had a season-high 10 three-pointers in the 62-39 victory for their first win of the season. Brendan Berry joined an elite group of Dartmouth basketball players by draining this game-tying corner three-pointer at Cal State Bakersfield on December 21st. It was the 200th of the graduates' Big Green career, a total only four others have reached. He finished the game 5 of 10 from the perimeter in the contest, his 10th career game with five or more triplets and sixth of the season. Junior forward Sidney Harrington danced across the face of the goal and placed a backhanded shot top shelf for her second of the game. The unassisted goal gave Dartmouth a 6-0 lead. Harrington finished the game with two goals and assist and a career-high three points before the holiday break. Sophomore Josh Waters scored the first two goals of his collegiate career in the 3-1 win over state rival UNH in the Ledyard Classic. Waters' second goal was the first successful penalty shot for the Big Green since January 24, 2015. For his performance, Waters was named to the Ledyard Classic All-Tournament team. Dame Adelikun had his breakout game at Cornell to start the new year. The two-handed dunk was one of five field goals for the junior and route to a career-high 14 points. Nothing was going to get in his way to the rim here, and he pounded home the points with authority. Junior forward CeCe Bowlby beat two defenders and then deked past the goalie to give the Big Green a 4-3 overtime win over New Hampshire. The unassisted goal came at just 1.17 left in the game. Bowlby finished as the game's leading scorer with one goal and one assist for a total of two points and helped extend the team's winning streak to four games. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the Dartmouth Plays of the Week, presented by Milton Cat. For sales and rentals of Caterpillar machinery and generators, visit MiltonCat.com. Milton Cat, your area cat dealer.